Hey, welcome back to Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. So, after a little bit of, um, a little bit of snooping around, I did find one thing that, um, there was something I missed on the ship. Hair Apparent 12. So, yeah. That's um, another one of the uh, hairstyling books. Um, I also did... I also looked into where the... Um, the locations of those... Um, those keys. Um, turns out, as well as the carpenter's door, uh, the carpenter's door and most of the other keys I can't access yet, except the Celeste key, which I'm gonna go and, uh, and pick up right now. So, uh, I'll see in, I'll see in just a moment. Should be right outside the door for this area. Yeah, right there. This is unexpected. Suddenly we're in a, uh... Suddenly we're in a... Very 8-bit Castlevania. Graham, a hero's greatsword. Answers only to those it deems worthy. Summon 8-bit zombie.
it. Summon 8-Bit Ghost. I couldn't bounce off him. Oh, this guy is... How far back? I wasn't expecting that at all, so... Oh. Okay, I lost all my progress. Okay, so after going through all that to get all this stuff again, ignoring this, uh, this trap this time that I totally wasn't expecting, the next place to head to. Yeah, out this way. Yeah, at least I marked the, uh, I marked the waypoint <clears throat> where the door is. I think I, I am going to save this time. In case I get caught by surprise like, uh, like with that 8-bit crud. Oh, the door opens automatically. Oh, how lovely. Um, 
Um. Hmm? Oh, this is a lovely room. Is there anything in particular we have to do here, though? I, I didn't read that far ahead, just, just where the key was. Very nice uh, kitty painting. Oh, oh, there's other music boxes. sound with all those music boxes going at once, huh? Oh, did that one close? First of all, okay, now let's. Is there some sort of music puzzle involved in this? I have to play ones that go with each other.
second. Okay, so after doing a little reading, it sounds like this room really doesn't have any any specific purpose. It's it's just a little it's just a little Easter egg that was thrown in. I heard that the other that the other rooms do contain boss fights though, so that was why I was uh, uh, preparing myself a little bit. Now, and I did read that the next place to go to is going to be, we do have to go to the uh, tower. And there's something, there is something there that'll help us, although it is really, really out of the way. I think it's... I think we have to invert from the bottom of the tower, but... We can access the elevator fairly easily now. that though did I uh no I didn't get it I think there was uh, even with the detective's eye I somehow still missed a piece of equipment over uh it's over here yeah oh that too I guess an invisible blade Blade that's been made invisible through sorcery. It was right over here. Riding habit. Riding garment designed with elasticity in mind. Um, I think there was... Was there... Okay. Yeah, there's... Uh, there's something down below this, but I don't have the means to get there yet. So, I'll still have to come back. I think it was supposed to be here. Uh, no, I guess not. 
Oh wait, I see something. Huh? Oh, there we go. Flying Edge. That's not what I was looking for, but... Also, blood that's blade that's magically endowed with flight capabilities. Oh, it's like the rune blade from Symphony. Okay, albeit not very powerful. It's the matter of that, um... There's that pesky treasure chest sitting on the map, but... I can't seem to access it. on the other side of the tower. Ah, there's the elusive chest. Oh, just some materials? I was expecting a little better than that.
I re examine this in full. Still not seen it. No, that's hold up. Okay, it sounds like I'm close to where this item is. The elevator to the very bottom and go right. out here? Ah, I see. Aegis Plate. A breast place that nullifies all damage from traps and hazardous environments. It's basically um, this game's equivalent of the Spike Breaker. Then with that, wait a sec. Um, okay. there's any uh, any faster way to get back to get back to where we need to go basically I'm thinking of that hallway with the uh, that we saw with all the spikes hopefully it'll protect from the iron maidens as well
Well, at least I don't take damage from it, but I still can't get past it. What does that leave us with? As far as places I haven't visited... I haven't visited yet. I'm guessing the green scrolls are places where we, uh, found marks to fight. Counter like a like an impassable um, floor of spikes. Well, except in um, except in the library, but <laughs> I was able to get past that the hard way. Curiosity. Nope. There's still nothing I can do about that. Oh! Right, I went... Okay, never mind. I went through all that... Right, I forgot. 
that that uh let's see this yeah th this this one leads to Jebel who again we kill him we get the the bad ending this is the uh, millionaire's door and this one leads to that 8-bit shithole what was remember when I left okay yeah that was then that was the um, Celeste room there but where do I go now I have I have the means to get past spikes so that's so that's good. What is what is that purple diamond? Um, probably a dumb question at this point. But but I don't. I'm not sure I recall what it means. Basically, I'm just looking for any lead I can right now. A whole bunch of nothing. Even the, uh... Even the detective's eye doesn't pick anything up. Well, crap, then I guess it's back to the drawing board as far as figuring out... ...where I'm supposed to go from here. I'll see you next time once I figure that out. I'm playing a game.